Hannah Manja is the second coming of Christ. They say the Lord works in mysterious ways, don't they? Tana Monchow is Jesus. Hey guys, it's Lucas. Welcome back to Weekends with Lucas. <laughs> First off, if you didn't know, everyone knows. If you're on YouTube, you know. A lot of YouTubers are rappers now. I'm here for it and all I gotta say, the original YouTube rapper was... Uh-huh. Yo, it's Fred! <laughs> yeah, bitch. <laughs> Take that, rap community of YouTube. You don't care? Okay, all right. So Tana Monhau is a rapper now. I've been watching her since the beginning. When I saw I got banged by a toothbrush in my recommended, you best believe I clicked and subscribed. He fucked me with a toothbrush. He fucked me? With a toothbrush! I've met her in real life. She's a lovely woman. I hope her rap career takes the fuck off. You wanna rap? Do it. You wanna do this? John Cena! Do it! Get up and do it! I wanna see it. I'm here for it. Tina Monjo's rap lyrics are iconic. I have to share them with you. I have to discuss this with someone. The best part about Tina Monhau's rap is like, you'll just be jamming, you know? This is like a, this is a sick beat. And then she'll hit you with one of these. All right. I'm sorry I'm rich and you're not. Ah. Oh. I was jamming, having fun, and now I'm being told I'm poor? Like you're at the local Walmart arcade listening to the tunes. I'm sorry I'm rich and you're not. Oh my god. I just got insulted. Fuck! This isn't just Tana Manji. This is like just a common thing across rap. I don't know if it's always been like this, but it seems more prevalent now than it used to be. You're just like <laughs> trying to dance. Woo! Yeah, we're at the club. We worked all week and we're letting loose. <laughs> Look like a toupee. I get what you get in 10 years, in two days. Well, fuck. And you don't know. Oh, oh, oh. And these rappers, they're not lying. Like, I'm sure whoever rapped that does get what I get in 10 years in two days. Like, I was trying to have fun with the girls, and now I realize that my salary is nothing. I'm sorry I'm rich and you're not. I get it! I get it! I'm sorry I'm rich and you're not. <laughs> I understand! I'm sorry I'm rich and you're not. Oh, now it's getting to be aggressive. I'm sorry I'm rich and you're not. So Tana released a new song and music video debut. Let's see what she has to say. So the music video starts. <laughs> and she's just like straight up laughing at me for being poor. <laughs> yeah, bitch, I'm back. You're poor still. They be talking, 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 say I'm fake. Say I've changed, but I'm still the same bitch. Just no more minimum wage. Can that chunk of music play when I walk into family reunions? Like, I know you've all been talking, 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 think I've changed, say I'm fake, but I'm still the same bitch, Grandma Jean. These hoes are so basic, I buy them at Urban when- Shit. These hoes are so basic, I'm a buy them at Urban. Okay. I buy pretty much 75% of my clothes from Urban Outfitters. Guess I'm a basic bitch. <laughs> When they shop at Urban, they think that they splurging. When they shop at Urban, they be thinking they splurging. Fuck! The thing is, I, I do kind of feel like I'm splurging when I shop at Urban Outfitters. I'm not gonna lie. When I hit up Urban Outfitters and buy a couple things, I'm like, wow. I'm kind of winning. I'm winning at life. I'm buying three things at Urban. <laughs> I made it, bitches! I just imagined myself walking out of Urban Outfitters with some bags, being like, you know what? Got some new fashion. And then all of a sudden I hear, when they shop at Urban, they think that they splurging. I'm sorry I'm rich and you're not. Like, I, I did think I was splurging. I mean, a shirt at Urban Outfitters is like $60. I am splurging. I'm sorry I'm rich and you're not. Bitch, I can't drive, but I'm in the Royce Swervin. Bitch, I can't drive, but I'm in the Royce Swervin. Well, I don't know what to say about that besides it's not safe. Get to the cake like my birthday this morning. Bitch, it's so plain. Like, when is you bored him? Bitch, I'm your daddy. Like, take me all morning. I'm not even gonna attempt to be cool and trendy. I don't know what most of that meant. Bitch is so plain. Like, when is you boarding? Why does she want to know when I'm boarding a plane? Oh, because she, like, wants me to leave the situation. She's like, bitch, you're plain. Like, when are you boarding? Bitch, I'm your daddy. Like, take me all morning. What does take me all morning mean? 
I feel old. I feel so out of the loop. I'm sorry I'm rich and you're not. I'm done. Your whole team seem different. My whole team, they filthy rich. Your whole team seem different. My whole team, they filthy rich. I would be stressed out to be in her filthy rich friend group. Like, I feel like they're all so filthy rich that, like, they'll go to the Cheesecake Factory. They'll order multiple appetizers, and I'll be like, guys, like, every one we order is $15. Like, can we slow down a bit? Like, are we splitting this? Like, oh, he just ordered champagne. Great. Are we splitting this bill? <laughs> it's fine! Filthy rich gang. Like, I feel like Tana would be like, hey bitches, wanna hang out and see a movie? And I'd be like, okay, like, that seems like reasonable for a Tuesday night. Like, let's go see Fifty Shades Free. Can I wear my urban outfitters? I'm sorry I'm rich and you're not. But then she'd pick you up and she'd be like, I rented a limo! And then we're gonna helicopter to the movie theater! Wanna take a private jet to Hawaii? Brand, brand new Gucci I don't even wear. Y'all had ass can't walk in there. Brand new Gucci I don't even wear. Your head ass can't even walk in the here. I actually almost bought someone a Gucci shirt for Christmas, like as a joke. I was like, oh, like Gucci's really trendy. Like, and the person I was getting it for, like, didn't really care about that sort of stuff. So I was like, oh, that'd be funny if I got them a Gucci shirt. And I was like, on Google, like, buy Gucci shirt. Then I saw the price and I was like, ha. <laughs> I don't love that person that much. Thought it was gonna be like 80 bucks. That one shirt can buy you a whole shopping spree at Urban Outfitters. I'm sorry I'm rich and you're not. Living in a dream, no nightmares. I don't give a fuck, life's unfair. Living in a dream, no nightmares. I don't give a fuck, life's unfair. <laughs> What? I just picture her fans. They're like these 19 year old girls. They're struggling through college. And she's just like, I don't give a fuck. Life's unfair. I don't give a fuck about your college tuition, Stacy. Life's unfair. These hoes suck your dick for a retweet. These hoes suck your dick for a retweet. Honestly, I would do that. If someone had like 20 million followers and was like, I'll retweet your latest video, Lucas, I'd be like, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Bitch, I'm your dad. What? I'm a dead beat. Bitch, I'm your dad. I'm a dead beat. In the club, trying to get down with the ladies and being reminded like. Bitch, I'm your dad. What? I'm a dead beat. Like, now I have to think about my deadbeat dad? Like, we have to bring my dad into this right now? I haven't talked to him in like three years! I'm taking W's! I'm taking W's! I'm taking W's! I'm taking W's! Sorry for your loss! I'm taking W's! I'm at the W! I'm making W! I'm making W! <laughs> that is for sure true. She's making like quadruple me. Sorry for your loss. I'll take your dub from you. Okay, she just said, sorry for your loss. I'll take your dub for you. I don't know what that means. But at first when I heard it, I thought she said, sorry for your loss. I'm taking your kids from you. And I was like, well, shit. Bitch already insulted my Urban Outfitters basic ass wardrobe. Reminded me she makes double me while also throwing out my deadbeat dad. And now my fucking kids are gone? Like, this bitch stole my whole life. She took my kids. Tana Monhi took my children. <laughs> And then it ends with a classic Tana laugh because I'm poor. She's laughing at me for being poor. Tana, Tana, Tana. And then she starts chanting her name. <laughs> Lucas, 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 Lucas. I'm sorry I'm rich and you're not. Sorry, I won't do that again. Now, I can't finish this video without briefly discussing her first single, Hefner. Fuck on your bitch like I'm Hefner. Hefner is a bop. Hefner is the song that has the iconic line. I'm sorry I'm rich and you're not. So the song Hefner starts off with her just like explaining what the song is about. All these bitches out here trying to be a playmate, but I want to be Hugh Hefner. I want to throw bands on these hoes. She wants to be Hugh. Tana Hefner. Fuck on your bitch like I'm Hefner. I take 10% like I rep her. No fake in my tits, but I'll check her. <laughs> God, I'm seizing. I am going into a seizure. I just love how it's not even 10 seconds into the song and she points out her tits are real. She's like, I know you just turned on this song. My tits are real. No fake in my tits, but I'll check hers. Can you do that? Like, can you touch someone's boobs and check if they're real? I wonder if that's a thing. Like, can you really just be like, fake? Real. These ones are full of breast milk, but can you do that just by touching them? Your bitch give me brain like her neck hurts. Your bitch give me brain like her neck hurts. She needs a back rub after giving that brain, cause her neck is sore. That sounds exhausting. I'll drop 5k on a drop of fuck 
fucking water. I'll drop 5k on a drop of fucking water. I don't know if I'm out of the loop. Like, there, maybe there's like a drug or something that's a drop of water. And she's like, you know what? I'll drop 5k. Or maybe she just wants to point out, like, she has so much money that, like, a drop of water when she's a little bit thirsty and parched. She'll give you 5k for that. Like, I feel like she should have made this more realistic and like talked about Smart Water or Evian or this one that the Kardashians drink. You drink Aquafina, I'm guzzling Smart Water. Like, that is wealth. I'm not even kidding. Like, if I'm talking to someone and they just like casually take out an Evian, I'm like, Whoa, wow, you're rich. Like, I'm honestly impressed. I'm like, shit, <laughs> this bitch is high class. Like, she's not gonna gag on some crystal geyser shit. No, she gets smart water because she's rich. If you want to impress someone, fuck Gucci, fuck Chanel, fuck all of that. Just carry Evian on you and people are gonna be like, wow, her dad invented banquet TV dinners because she is loaded. She just has a smart water. Tana, 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 Tana. This is like Tana's iconic rap thing. Like she chants her name. What I love about this particular Tana chant is like as it goes on, like she progressively gets less committed. Tana, 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 Tana. Like that last Tana wasn't committed. Like she's kind of over it. Like it starts out strong. Tana, Tana, Tana. And then it just like dies. Tana, 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 Tana. Tana, 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 Tana. Tana. Keys full of bumps. Man's all on my humps. Man's all on my humps. This is the perfect line to use in casual everyday life. Next time someone's all in my business, you know, like I'm gonna throw out that line. Like I'll be at the grocery store staring at some granola bars looking for a bargain and someone will try to cut past me and like just get a little bit too close. And I'll gently tap their shoulder so they turn around and I'll be like, man's all on my humps. Man's all on my humps. What was with that? Why were you all up on my humps? There's no fake in my tits, but I'll check yours and then it'll get creepy. Tur, she sip on my pussy like nectar. She sip on my pussy like nectar. Imagine the same situation at the grocery store. You're in the granola bar aisle again. That same rude bitch gets too close to you as they're like cutting past you, like kind of being rude, obnoxious. And again, you would tap them on the shoulder so they turn around and be like, are you trying to sip on my pussy like nectar? Sir, I will repeat. Are you trying to sip on my pussy like nectar? I want to know because you're all up on my humps. Is that what you want to do? I didn't think so. So do not come that close to me in this granola bar aisle again. Also, there's no fake in my tits, but I'll check yours. I am going to get my license to marry people after they say their vows, after they say their I do's, they profess their love to one another. I'll pause briefly. Look at them both and say, you may now sip on the bride's pussy like nectar. You may now check the bride's tits to see if they're fake. I want Gucci shit so I buy it. I want Gucci shit so I buy it. Again, another reason I'm glad I'm not in a filthy rich gang. Cause like, I just feel like all of the friends in the filthy rich gang would be competing. Like who has the newest Gucci shit? You know what I mean? Like who got the new Gucci belt? Who's got the Gucci headband? Not her, she's out of the group. You'd wanna buy the new Gucci shit to fit in, but like also you'd be like, can we start shopping at Aeropostale? Like every now and then, can we shop at American Eagle? Hefner ends with another chanting of the name. And then she makes some noises. Hey, whoa, yeah. It sounds like she's mid-fall. Like imagine you've had a few too many drinks and you're walking down like a steep flight of stairs, you'd be like, hey, whoa. Yeah. Like that is the sound you'd make. Honestly, this video is not hate in any form. There are plenty of YouTubers who make rap songs. Do they have as memorable of lyrics as Tana? No, but Tana Manjo, that shit is memorable. I remember it. For the rest of my life, I'll remember the classic. I'm sorry I'm rich and you're not. Like that is ingrained. I'll also remember. She sip on my pussy like nectar. And I'll use it, like I said. Next time someone innocently compliments me, they're like, Lucas, I really like your shirt. I'll be like, you wanna sip on this pussy like nectar? And they'll be like, no, I'm your Aunt Betty. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell. Click on that notification bell, like you wanna sip its pussy like nectar. That's it. All right, I think I'm gonna go burn everything in my closet from Urban Outfitters and purchase everything Gucci and go into severe debt. <laughs>